Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. So we need to talk about some market stuff that's going on in FIFA Ultimate Team right now with the Carney Ballers, Carney Ball promotion out right now. Today we got day two and it was all uh, based around the country of France. We got a SBC Prime Primer uh, Icon Moments Desai center back, which a lot of people are interested in. Um, and I definitely see why. If you want a French center back, I mean, this is big time for your French team. Um, a center back guy that's going to get a green link to any French player, going to provide some good links there. And it's a, honestly a pretty cheap icon SBC. If it's not one that you would want to do now, um, I mean, this is the type of SBC that you could easily do later in the year um, as team of the season is out and you're doing a lot of upgrade packs with the, the coins you have in your club or, you know, the coins you have. When you get those team of the season players, they're just very high rated if you pack them untradeable. Uh, this is the kind of one of the SBCs that I'm going to be looking to do since there is no time limit on it uh, during team of the season later down the road. Just because it's pretty cheap and easy. 88 rated, one team of the week. I think you need two team of the week players. Four team of the week players for this entire squad. Two of them for the high rated uh, and then obviously an icon. So I think this SBC is pretty cheap and I think a lot of people are going to end up doing that SBC. But we also got the um, Benjamin Mendy left back card today. And I think a lot of people are going to do this SBC. Actually, let's head over to Footbin and take a look at the market graphs to check this out and see if people are doing this SBC. Um, so the market index 100 definitely climbed up today. And I'm guessing that's because of this SBC. Let's check the index gold because that's also a good indicator if people are doing SBCs. Uh, yeah, see that was up from about 48 points all the way up to 53. With a, a lot of the guys going up being SBC cards, a lot of those, some of those are kind of coming back down now. But let's go into active challenges and check out 186k. So this has gone up. Um, yeah, you can tell that people are doing this SBC. There weren't lightning rounds today, which I kind of thought was interesting. I thought we were going to get another set of lightning rounds, but um, that honestly, if you think about it from a trading aspect, that might make these carny ball cards more interesting to trade with. Um, so they got some decent supply first day, and there are promo packs in the store, but there's not lightning rounds, so they're not going to get as much supply, um, these special cards, as they would if there were lightning rounds every day. So. This SPC was about 170k right off the bat, 160k, and as you can tell now, it's 187. You can't see it. It follows my screen when I scroll up and down, but it's about 187,000 coins for this Benjamin Mendy card. There it is, right there. Um, so continue that card, that that price of that SPC can uh, probably will creep up to about 200,000 coins just as people continue to do it, and as we get more SPCs throughout the week. Um, that price is going to go up. Let's actually check and see if Hulk has followed that same path. He was 220 right away. He's kind of stayed around 220, jumped up today, big time 240, 250. Um, but that's a little bit lesser desired card than this Be uh, Benjamin Mendy card, which if you need a French left back in your team, you know, he's pretty good. The stats on that card, I think they look pretty good. I haven't looked at his work rates. High, medium, that's okay. He's a lefty. Um, he's got the good sprint speed, he's got the great crossing, good stamina, he's got good stats, good strength as well. So I think a lot of people are going to do this card as a French left back from the Premier League, Man City, that's links everywhere um, to a lot of different things. So we saw a lot of panic selling today because of that. I mean, I feel like this is like the third time we've seen um, Inform Robertson, uh, Robertson, whatever his name is, like he's crashed so many times this year. And it's all been because that left back position in the Premier League is just so very rare and sought after. I mean, this card was like 260,000 coins, and now he's down here at 168. 168 for this card. So, um, will he rebound? Absolutely, he will. Um, just because he's a left back in the Premier League, he gets a green link to Van Dyke. People have been using this card all year. Um, so,. And it obviously, it's actually dipped cheaper. Now I'm more interested in it because it has fallen lower than the price of Mendy. So as this card gets lower and lower in the panic sell, which it shouldn't continue to get too lower, um, if it goes to 150, I will definitely start to think about buying these. Probably buy one or two, not too many of them. Just kind of stick a one or two in the club, one on the transfer list, and go from there. But I'll think about this again. What other items would have been panic sold today because of the left back Mendy? 
Um, and you guessed it, the other Mendy, Furland Mendy, who I have in my team as a left back, and I would venture to say is probably one of the best left backs in the game. I haven't tried Sandro. I have used Marcelo, team of the year, but wow, 255 for this Mendy card. That is ridiculous. Um, he hasn't been that low since he was in packs. So if I can catch another one of these on bid for like under 250, that's another one I definitely think would rise back up uh, in the rebound just because he is French and he has better stats than that the Mendy card, the Benjamin Mendy. Uh, he has better pace, uh, a little bit better stats all around on the defensive side. And he has a five-star weak foot with four-star skills. And he's just a freaking beast in game. I mean, I absolutely love that card. So again, as I talked about in my first video about Carnival, this is something that we can expect every single day. We can expect these substitute goods to come onto the game. We can expect tomorrow, I think Belgium is the nation they might be coming up with. So we might be getting a flashback from Belgium because there aren't any uh, Belgian icons. But let's say we get a flashback Belgian. People are saying company, maybe nine Golan. There's a lot of different options. Um, whatever that position comes in tomorrow, let's say it is a company, um, that would be, you know, that actually a company would work good for EA because they would be able to, um, that'd be a card that people could link right up with their new uh, Mendy card. So that's interesting to me, but we'll have to see what happens with that. But again, look for the panic selling. Like if a company comes out tomorrow, if you see more panic selling on the center backs in the Premier League, that could be an area to pick up. Now today, I tweeted about this and I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it, but they refreshed the dynamic images for some of the road to the final items. Uh, I have a Tellez in the club as well. He got a facelift as we can call it, but then some of them did not get upgraded. Uh, Lingard is the same, I think. I'll check him in a second, but Tellez now has <laughs> a more interesting dynamic image than he did before, but this is cool. I mean, this is really cool from EA and wow, that card looks nasty. I need to try him out uh, in game, but this is a GG to EA for just like updating the small things like that uh, that, you know, we haven't had that in the past. And that's just something that's really cool in my eyes that we do have now. Um, and EA is doing a great job of marketing this. Now, since the market is really broke, I don't know. Wow, that's a sick picture for Arier. <laughs> that is a sick picture for Arier. I don't know if this is really going to affect their prices that much. I don't think it really will. Just because on the right back side of things in the Premier League, we now have a Bellerin card. But this Aria card getting one more upgrade if he goes to an 89 is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with, especially with Domitz and Sanchez if they're able to get another upgrade from progressing in the Champions League. That's going to be something that we need to watch as well. Speaking of those Road to the Final cards, on my transfer list I have two Road to the Final Sterlings. And this is a, a very interesting play in my eyes because they have a game this coming week. A lot of people aren't thinking about this right now, and Sterling is actually down still a good bit. 580k with a bid there. I'm getting mine. Ooh, that's closer to my range. I'm trying to get mine for like f under 560 or 550. For this card, a lot of them I've gotten on bids, uh, but that card was 650k just a couple weeks ago in the hype, and he's going to rise back up into that hype. He could get an inform this week. He should get an inform, and that inform would be 90 rated, and it would be a left wing card, I do believe. But the stats on that card probably would not match up to this road to the final. And this road to the final is um, a more desirable position. It's right mid, right wing. Um, and Sterling did play left wing today. But he should get a 90 rated card uh, this week's team of the week. But then this card should be getting an upgrade by the end of the week. And uh, this is going to be another great stat boost for this card. It's going to you know, make a lot of people want to use that card on the right side in their Premier League teams. Um, so we're going to have to see what comes out with these SBCs as well. I made a couple investments today based on the uh, the Benjamin Mendy coming out. The main investment that I made was Gwen Dozy. Uh, this morning, actually, I was headed into work, and I saw this card. Uh, it was down a lot. So you see there's a couple on bid, but I saw him popping up for like four. He started coming under 500, and for like four to five hours today, he was under 500 uh, for a good amount of time. I bought three of them for 475 and under because that is a green link obviously the French connection between him um, and between the new left back Mendy and also 
you know, French and Premier League, this card is a very, very popular card. Arsenal are playing well right now, so that bodes well for him. Uh, so that's one thing that I picked up today as an investment for this week. If they continue to drop SBCs that are Premier League based, I know the Hulk wasn't Premier League, but let's say tomorrow we get a flashback company. That's two Premier League players right there. Uh, that's going to, you know, help the rise. I'm thinking ahead towards this week's Thursday flipping um, and just the possibility of those cards rising up in the hype more. Uh, if people have these new cards they're getting from SBCs, um, I think uh, that people are going to want to use link up cards to those new SBC cards. The same thing with Pogba. got him for 639 last night. I bought two of them and he is still pretty low, but I did see him get back up to like 680, 690 today. There was one for 650 right there, but I think he could rise back up in some hype as well. And then I think I have another Gendozi in here. So that's another thing I, uh, you guys can invest in is the links. Now, I do want to talk a little bit. Uh, I Obviously, you see I have a, a lower amount of coins right now. I did buy a couple players for my weekend league team. I bought Ronaldo uh, and I bought Messi, who I, I've just listed up right now, try to get a lazy buyer. But um, I would probably say keep hold of your coins. If you're going to trade... Don't do a ton of investing. I have a lot of inform investments because I know there's a lot of SBCs coming out this week and I'm flipping some of these cards because they're still very rare and a lot of people are trying them out, especially some of these very uh, 330. That's a very good price right there for Inaki Williams. If I see this go to like 320, I'm going to snag one. But like this card right here, so many people just want to try him out because his, uh, his stats look incredible. Uh, same thing with Gabriel Jesus. A lot of people are interested uh, in those cards. So that's a great opportunity for quick flips since they're very rare. Uh, they kind of rise at nighttime as well. That seems to be the theme, at least for now. That probably will stop as we head into the week more, um, and their prices will continue to dip lower as we get more SBCs, more content. But keep your coins relatively liquid if you have a team. Um, I'm going to be taking a loss on this Messi card. I bought him for like 1.68, and he just went on bid for like 1.6 flat. So I'm definitely going to be taking a little bit of a loss on this messy card and you know i have to be fine with that i wanted to try them out i was able to try them out and this one is way too cheap on bid see man xbox is dead man xbox is crazy dead there's nobody over here buying cards nobody over here bidding either uh so i'm gonna have to try to get this on bid for a quick flip or run the deal up but uh trading right now just keep it short and sweet in and out quick flips um, focus on the meta things that people are going to be buying and using. Of course, check footbin, scroll through footbin, team of the weeks that are, you know, get to know some of these player prices and just scroll through, you know, especially these carny ball cards. They're a little tougher to trade with because they're in packs. They have constant supply, um, but they're going to have dips and they're going to have rises in price because they're rare special cards. These, uh, the future stars have dipped down a bunch uh, today. Wow. Bentacore 384. That's low. Uh, Kutron 225, that's very low. Havertz at 510 is low. Um, so a lot of these cards have dipped. Cloyvert at 115, wow, that is low. So a lot of these cards have dipped down as well. Not saying that they're going to rebound, but it just presents an opportunity as they dip low for a little bit of a rebound as people realize these are too cheap. Maybe I want to put one in my team. So that's one thing you can continue to do here in the coming days. Um, but I would, I would advise, be careful with your coins because we are having a ton of SBCs that are coming out. All it takes is for one massive icon that is just underpriced by EA or you know a couple other player SBCs to just make this market go mad. And uh, you know if they drop like a Hullet or an R9, that's going to be something that people are going to be striving after and selling a ton of stuff to go buy. So or to, to go to go uh, complete that SBC. So that's something I just want to keep you guys aware about because that's a very good possibility for this week. So keep a lot of your coins liquid. Again, short and sweet trading stuff. Uh, we'll take a look at the market outlook for the rest of this week um, tomorrow on Monday on the channel. And of course, we did today get the 81 plus SBC packs. I've seen some people get some decent stuff out of these. And you know I love packs, so I'm definitely going to be hitting some of these. So expect to see a video here in the next couple days of me smashing some of these 81 plus packs, hoping to get a Carney Ball card into uh, untradeable into the team. That would be freaking sweet. So if you enjoyed the video, boys, smash a thumbs up on it and uh, comment down below if you have any questions, market related or uh, just FIFA related, anything. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.